So let's take a look at what's new in H2R Graphics version 2.15. As I always say in these videos, lots of new stuff has been packed in. So let's dig into it right now. All right, if you're a pro user, you'll see a couple of new options in terms of graphics. We have an audio graphic now, and we also have a lyrics graphic, if I can spell that right lyrics there we go so these are a little bit different so let's dig into each one individually i'm over in the media tab here and i'm just going to add an mp3 file that just happens to be on my computer here add that in and it'll import it into the project and i can play that just like i could any other mp3 file you can just about hear it there in the background and back on my rundown i can of course choose that mp3 file I can choose to loop it, I can choose the individual volume on that, and now when I press play on that mp3, it will play it in the background. I have it muted right now since I don't even know if it's copyright or not, so I'll just leave it playing in the background, but it'll play just like any song would as an mp3 or WAV file. Next up is the lyrics option here. So if I just edit this graphic, what you'll see is you have an option here to paste in all of your lyrics. So I'll just paste in a bunch of lyrics I've taken from this uh, Black Seed song, and now all the lyrics have been reformatted into clickable versions right below that. So if I was to show this graphic, you'll see here I have a full size graphic. And of course, I can change the theme to make that look different. But I have all my lyrics. And whenever I'm ready, I can just click through each one and it shows up just like that. Or I can close this and I can go through the lyrics like this instead. So I can click the down arrow and you can see it's jumping between the lyrics. And you'll see on the rundown that the lyric, the next lyric is sort of shown here in a grayed out fashion. So you can see what it looks like when it's gonna be clicked on for the next time. So that's a nice way to show some lyrics during your production. You'll also notice with this new version that if I show a lower third graphic here, I have the option now to scale it all the way up to 400%. A huge graphic just in case you need it to be really big before it would only ever go up to 200 but now you can go all the way up to 400 plenty of people have asked for it so i've added it in there over on the social tab a few things have changed now you can add a data source right here from the social tab i'm just going to add one to show off another new feature if i add this http listener here and i add a few comments here i have one from john and it says hello and I'll add that custom comment and then add another one from Sean that says goodbye. Add that custom comment. What you'll notice here in the chat tab is that I can filter by message or author. So if I was to type in John here, I would see messages from anybody whose name or message included the word John. Or I can type in goodbye and I can see any messages that contain that word goodbye. I spelled it wrong, but you get the gist. It's a lovely way to filter down all your messages. If you have hundreds of them, then you can jump in and find one from, for example, who was Sean and what did he say? Ah, yeah, that's right. He said goodbye. And I can show that message and hide it. And one last thing to take a look at in this video is that you can now duplicate a project. So here in the options section, I can delete a project or I can duplicate it. And what it does, it makes a copy of this exact project and all the graphics and all that good stuff can be used further down the line for another project. Just rename it to something else and uh, you're good to go. And the final thing to talk about is there's a new Pi version in beta. So you can download this, install it yourself and execute it on your Pi. And then you're up and running and using H2R graphics on a Raspberry Pi. Pretty early days, looking for feedback and happy to hear feedback. So I just added it for now so you can test it out. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any issues, you can always click on the report issue button and let me know if you had an issue and I can try and fix it or add it to a future version of H2R graphics. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.